Severe blood clots, such as venous thromboembolisms or VTEs, can cause complications and even death in patients undergoing systemic cancer therapy. Risk assessment models can be used to identify which patients may develop blood clots, especially pulmonary embolisms, or PE, and lower extremity deep vein thrombosis, or LEDVT. The Corona score is the most widely used tool to predict incident VTE in patients receiving chemotherapy. However, recent meta-analyses reveal that the score could underestimate the risk of VTE by a large margin depending on the cutoff. Researchers have now developed a new risk assessment model with improved accuracy using data from the Harris Health System. This model builds on the original components of the Corona score, introducing revised cancer subtypes and cancer and patient-specific predictors. The model was validated using electronic health record data from nearly 80,000 patients from the United States Veterans Affairs Healthcare System. Using this model, 28% of patients from the validation data set were reclassified into more appropriate risk groups. The model also delivered better discriminative risk prediction. Importantly, this model accurately predicted potentially preventable VTE events among high-risk patients. With further external validation, this improved model could be integrated into electronic health records to aid risk assessment of blood clots among patients with cancer and inspire development of validated models for other anti-cancer therapy complications.